Stress can make us anxious, sad, angry, or worried. But it can also lead to a whole host of negative effects on our bodies. It's harder for us to get sleep at night. It's harder for us to find time in our schedules to exercise and take care of ourselves. We tend to eat higher fat, higher carb kinds of foods. A lot of people have you know, muscle tension, and that can obviously translate into injury. We all feel stressed, but every individual experiences it differently. Physiological changes I would feel would be a higher heart rate, restlessness, loss of sleep. I get migraines. It becomes a bit harder to think clearly. My skin will break out. My face gets a little bit flushed. My hands become a bit sweaty. My body tenses up. And I also feel quite heavy in the chest. Why is psychological stress bad for cardiovascular health, but exercise stress is considered good for health? The answer may have to do with something referred to as metabolic uncoupling. When we think about exercise, your heart rate increases and your metabolic system also increases, meaning you're breathing harder. The rest of your muscle physiology is changing and your body is working together to maintain homeostasis or balance. This is good stress. But with psychological stress, your heart rate increases while your metabolic system does not. Your heart is working much harder than the rest of your body. This metabolic imbalance occurs each time you are exposed to psychological stress. When your heart works in excess of the demand of your body, this causes an imbalance and can lead to excess wear and tear on the heart. This is the bad stress and may explain a possible mechanism through which psychological stress increases risk for cardiovascular disease. When we think about stress, it's important to be mindful of its effects not just on our moods, but also on our bodies. By understanding how our bodies react to stress, we're better prepared to develop coping mechanisms that help us both remain calm and physically healthy.